Hello, today's devotional can be found in the Topical Guide under Psalms chapter 93, verse 5. Holiness becometh thine house. Okay, so if we adopt the mantra of holiness, we need to adopt it not only by mouth, but by mind and heart and lifestyle as well. You cannot be afraid to adopt the mantra of holiness. It will help us to become better. It will make us think before we speak and act. It will help us to understand that we are valuable and that by adopting a mantra of holiness, we are telling Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ that we agree with them, that we believe in our own value. We cannot be afraid to try. Adopting a mantra of holiness, adopting a lifestyle of holiness is telling Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ that we're not afraid to try, that we're not afraid to go outside our comfort zone, and, and that we're not afraid to admit to ourselves and others that we have worth even though people may not think so. People can be very cruel. People can degrade us to the point where we feel like we have no worth, but we have to look beyond those people because those people themselves don't believe in their own worth, so they try to make others disbelieve their worth as well. And they spend their days in misery trying to rob people of their worth through words. Words can hurt. Words can leave scars, but it, words do not have to destroy. If we adopt a mantra and a lifestyle of holiness, then we know that we are loved no matter what. We are valued no matter what. And that we should take pride in ourselves and look after ourselves and make good decisions that we might be able to Relish in the fact that we are valued by Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. And for something to become our houses, for something to completely envelop our whole lives. And we should not be ashamed of that simply because why would we want to be ashamed of Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ? They're not ashamed of us despite our imperfections. Life is so short. Let's do the best with it that we can. But it's our choice. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.